Feeling overworked this summer? Well, maybe you just need a break from that nine to five job. Do yourself a favor, take some well-deserved paid time off. According to a new report from Sorbet, nearly two thirds of Americans did not use all of that paid time off, the PTO days last year. This trend isn't just a, mixed, a missed opportunity for relaxation. You're also missing out on some serious financial gains as well. For more on what this means for both workers and employers, we've got Vital Ilat Reichel, who is the Sorbet founder and CEO. Great to have you here in studio. Thank you with so us. much for having me. Absolutely. So let's dive into I mean, why, why aren't people taking their PTO? Oh, gosh. You know, we've been tracking this data for a couple of years now. Um, what we're kind of hearing consistently is a lot around optics and our collective kind of cultural complex relationship with the idea of going on vacation. Interesting, though, in the last year, uh, we're, we're hearing a lot more uh, concerns around costs, travel costs, um, you know, general inflation and, and, and prices going up. But, uh, but yeah, that, that's a huge driver. Uh, this year specifically. I mean, I used to be a huge proponent of the, the staycation, but and, and making sure that I was still using that paid time off. But even if I wasn't going anywhere, just that relaxation, that reset. So as we're thinking about where employees are even navigating through, do I want to go somewhere? Do I want to kind of stay home? How is this changing the type of vacations that they are taking or using that PTO as well? Well, we're definitely seeing a lot more, you know, uh, these trending topics like uh, workation mm. and staycation and things like that. I think at the end of the day, what we need to acknowledge is that taking time off is important. Um, it's it's proven to be uh, helpful with reducing stress and improving productivity and that if we try to glaze over that or try to find like ways to do it, uh, it's not going to be as effective overall. Absolutely. There, there are states and you, you've tracked this. You've been able to kind of look across the employment situation, states with worse than national PTO utilization. Which were the ones that stuck out to you? Um, well, overall, the, like you said, 62% of U.S. employees don't use up all of their time. And on average, those employees will leave about a little over 30% of their PTO unused. That's, that's actually a whopping amount. Um, New York is actually a little over the national average, so New Yorkers will uh, leave around 33% unused, so a third. That's almost a week of vacation that they could be taking that they are not. And then just to make you feel it a little bit better, um, you know, we have states like um, California and Illinois who are around like 35% of time on use, and the worst would be North Carolina with over 50% of time left on use. Are we going to be able to avoid, and, and I've heard this tossed around quite a bit, are we going to be able to avoid a burnout crisis? Because this comes directly back to being able to have people feel confident taking their PTO and uh, finding balance as well here too. No, you're, you're absolutely right. I think there are two ways to think about it. One is, as you mentioned, the, the burnout angle. People do need to take time off. It's better for employees and for employers that they do, because obviously over time this could come back uh, you know, to be very, very significant overall. But there's also a financial angle to this. Um, a lot of people kind of are programmed to think about pay time off in terms of days and hours that we can take off in, as vacation. But in fact, PTO is an integral part of our compensation. It has a clear financial value attached to it. And a lot of people don't realize this, but for most employees, if they don't end up using all of their time off, when they ultimately leave their employer, they're going to get paid the cash value of their unused PTO. So people really need to educate themselves around you know, how much their unused PTO is actually worth um, and, and be very mindful of that portion of their compensation. We got to go. Hopefully there's a one word answer to this. Which generation is doing the best at utilizing their PTO right now? The older you are, the better you are at taking time off. Okay. Sounds like the boomers are doing this quite well. Yes, they are. Vital, thanks so much for taking the time here. Thank in the studio you for having us. me. So founder and CEO.